Hi, I'm Stephen Majors with the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine. I'm here today with Abby Jenkins, who's the CEO of Gamita Cell. Abby, welcome to Arm Studios. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here. So just start off and tell us a little bit about Gamita Cell. How did it get its start? What are you focused on? Sure. At Gamita Cell, we've actually been working for the last 20 years to turn cells into powerful therapeutics. And we're very excited that with the with this year, with 2023, we're one of the nine products that was on the docket to be FDA approved. And in April, our lead asset, Ami Surge, was approved for patients with hematologic malignancies who are 12 and older. So we're very excited after many iterations and all of the trials and tribulations to be at the point that we're finally able to deliver Ami Surge to patients. That's wonderful. Congratulations. And so it's my understanding that was the first ever allogeneic uh, adoptive cell therapy approved in the United States. Is that, that's correct, right? Well, it's the first, um, what I would call pharmaceutical, commercial scale type of allogeneic stem cell transplant. Absolutely, it is the first of that. First to be approved on the basis of a global phase three randomized clinical trial. It is a first in many, in many ways. Okay. And so based on that first, I mean, where do you think we are with allogeneic therapies? Are we about to have a jumping off point? Um, what does the future look like in the next few years? Well, the interesting thing is AmiSurge, which is an allogeneic stem cell transplant, is in many ways more like a, an autologous therapy in the sense that it's custom made for a single patient. So in this case, they're allogeneic cells. It's uh, derived, the product is derived from cord blood, but the cord blood has to be matched for that patient. And then we make one batch, a single, single dose batch for the patient, potentially curative therapy. But in that way, it's not kind of the promise of scalable allogeneic therapies. We have a phase one, clinical candidate, which is an NK cell therapy, which is more of that traditional allogeneic derived from human donor derived cells, where we could scale up um, more easily to serve a broader population of patients. And that product is in a uh, dose phase one dose escalation trial right now for patients with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So that's more of that, that traditional, you know, when you think of allogeneic, you think of scalable, larger population sort of product. Great. Okay. And then how did you get your start in the sector? Why are you working in cell and gene therapy as opposed to, you know, some other career? Sure, I'm, I'm a newbie. So this is my first time at the ARM meeting on the Mesa and with Gamita Cell where I've been for just over a year. Um, this is my first foray into cell therapy, into hematology and oncology. Um, I would say it's a diff difficult space to break into. So I've been in many other therapeutic areas, but I always wanted to be a part of um, potentially curative therapy. So it was incredibly inspiring to have the opportunity to come to Gamita Cell to be able to bring this potentially curative therapy for patients with cancer. That's great. And then how have you enjoyed meeting on the Mesa so far? What are you finding the most useful? It's very interesting just to be in a room, oh, a very large room. Some of these rooms are very, I heard there's 2,000 patients, uh, 2,000 people here. So very large rooms, but to be surrounded by people facing similar opportunities and challenges, working through um, many of these things together. Very few people, I, I don't, I haven't grown up in cell and gene, so I don't know as many people here. It's like, you know, homecoming week for, for many. <laughs> but um, for me, this is the first time I've really been surrounded by so many people experiencing the same opportunities and challenges. Abby, you can tell us why are you in this sector? Why do you do it? you do? Well, I'm incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to finally be in the cell and genes sector where we can bring these potentially curative therapies for patients with rare diseases and blood cancers and other diseases. Um, I'm inspired to be able to save a patient's life. So I've had the chance to work in a number of very meaningful therapeutic areas, a number of categories where there were tremendous unmet needs, no alternatives where we could make a profound impact on either the quantity or the quality of a patient's life, but not in the same way that a potentially curative therapy, you know, acts. And so to have that opportunity was tremendously inspiring. And then when I started to meet the people of Gamita Cell, there was just the values, the culture, it really resonated with me. There's so much commitment to helping these patients and to doing whatever it takes to serve them. And I, I connected with that. So, Abby, I understand that uh, some of your manufacturing operations are in Israel. Obviously, this is a very difficult time right now. Can you talk a little bit about your interactions with the employees on the ground there and what they're going through? Sure. It has been an incredibly difficult time over the last few days, and I'm amazed and inspired by our team there um, who I can't. It's unimaginable to me what it must be like to experience these atrocities. And yet, under the backdrop of everything they're dealing with personally, uh, we have employees that are committed to their essential duties and want to go in and our facility is intact and we have a number of employees that are there actively manufacturing products for patients because of their deep connection, understanding that for some of these patients, 
Ami Surge may be their only shot at a cure. So their life literally, even, even as their lives may be hanging in the balance, they're committed to potentially saving the life of another patient here in America. And I'm just so inspired by that and proud of them. And I, I hope that it is able to continue and it doesn't escalate further. Great. Well, thanks so much for sharing that story. Sure.